All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right, we're going to flow through the spirit. Kind. And, uh, and Lord willing, this video is edifying. Kind, kind. Hey, man, you know, uh, we don't got nothing necessarily on our minds. You know, just, just a little quick, little impromptu of this camera act right. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we just got out of camp, man. You know, Sister Wadi, how about Shimei Al-Shah for preserving us, man, and, and being able to fight against uh, the, the uh, wickedness, man. You know, uh, we can start with that Ephesians 6 chapter. Let's start with that. Um, because man, our the our enemies, man, and the the people that's against the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, man. Hey, man, they got sore judgments coming to them, man. All right, and these people don't understand this thing, this how important and heavy the truth is, man. You know, these people are, they're armored with wickedness, man. We had a damn uh, effeminate Christian come out here with dreads, you know, and he couldn't get anything of the scriptures, man. He couldn't understand anything. Um, yeah, we can start on um, six. Um, man, it's uh, started. We started eleven. Yeah, it started eleven. All right, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse eleven. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You see that man? The scriptures say, "Put on the whole armor of the Most High," man. Hey, and that's what we did today, man. For real, through the Spirit, man. We was out there ironclad, bro. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, you know, brothers was bouncing off each other. Uh, brothers was getting excited. You know what I'm saying? Everything, man. But we, the Lord says, put on the whole armor of the Most High. See, that's the, what these dudes will do. They'll go out and they put on, they'll put on the helmet and think they get ready for war. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll just bring their shield. You got to bring it all, man. You got to bring it all. Feel free to chime in, brother, at any moment. Uh, verse 12, it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, that, that's, that's what we wrestle, we wrestle against. We wrestle against uh, demons that's on these other people, man. Mm -hmm. You know, especially our people. And I was just thinking about it, you know, just now, because like at the camp, you know, and, and just reading that first verse, when I said, put on the, oh, the whole armor of God, you know, it's like um, it's like a breath of fresh air, a breath, a breath of fresh air being around you know, like-minded uh, men, because I can I can say you now I don't have to just, like say God. You know, I can say Yahweh and, and Yahweh Shai, and the brothers they understand it, man. But when we out like teaching, you know, we 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 say uh, like like so-called Jesus and, and God, you know, just for edification. But you know, saying the right names, you know, just uh, just just speaking uh, just speaking the word, the true words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is a breath of fresh air and being around the brothers, man, because. We out in the streets, we gotta, you know, we gotta say, you know, God sometimes to edify, you know, but, you know, that's how, you know, we got the truth, man. We got the truth, man. Uh, we you gotta know? fake the funk and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can't say it like it is, man, because these people aren't ready for it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but like you said, though, brother, that's beautiful. It is a breath of fresh air, man. Being able to say the name of your power, man, right. you know, you got guys out here saying God and Jesus and Yeshua, man. When you think, when you, when, hey, man, that's honey. You know, that sweetness, man, when you be able to hear the words of the Heavenly Father and understand them, you get to say his name and his son's name, man. That's sweet, man. You know, it's like it's like something that you've been missing your whole life and you finally figure out what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I and all we got to do is chase. All we got to do is keep seeking after him and stay on the path, man. You know, you got a precept. Con. You know, so th these are the things we're, we're believing in, man. Waiting for the Heavenly Father, hoping that he have mercy on us, man. The water for his name, the water for his his, his mercy, the water for his uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. That's key, man. Having the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father is key. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from, and from one end of the heaven to the other. You know, that's what that's what y'all that's what y'all about Shemiah Shah is gonna do, man. And that's that's and that's what we're doing through the spirit. And we seen that today, man. We was uh we had like a big crowd because his uh this Jake came in the my spirit. It was causing like a big crowd, but at still at the same time the Lord was bringing in his elect. Cause uh I believe it was was it two people? 
two people uh, stayed. It might have been three, real talk. One yeah. of them just ended up kind of leaving. But yeah, it was, a, it was a nice little crowd. I just went over the video, too. It was a lot more people that's just around there, period, man. But go ahead. Yeah, but the Lord, you know, the Lord, he's gathering his elect, man. You know, from the four winds of the earth, man. You know, in these last days, hey, if you're not able to let, it's over with for you, man. You know, so that, so that's what we're doing through the spirit, man. We're gathering the elect. And that was beautiful. That one brother, he said, I, I, I asked him, what was the name of the Heavenly Father? He said, Yahweh. So, and he said, well, uh, uh, he said the son's name is Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's beautiful to hear, man, because he's, he's he's learning, man. God, that's beautiful. And that guy, man, we, we've been dealing with that guy for some months now. Like, he said he was out of town for a while, but the Lord had him come back. You know, but that guy had uh, a bald head and a shaved face. You know what I'm saying? We kept telling him, like, hey, bro, that ain't okay. Now, he was an older older gentleman, so he, like, bald at the top. But he got, like, he's growing the hair around the sides. He's growing his facial hair. You know, he carries around this book, this big Bible, and it says Yahweh on it. But then the, that's why the brother asked him, hey, what's the name of the Most High? He said, Yahweh. So, even though know, at the end of the day, we ain't carnal enough to be like, hey, you got to throw that book away because it said Yahweh. At least he know the name. I told him, I still say, I will put duct tape over it. But nonetheless, at least he know the name. He know how to tap into the power, man. You know? Let me bring out this. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads, man. You know, the elect, they're going to have the names. They're going to memorize the names, man. You know, even the one third, they're, they're going to know the names, man. You know, and they're going to believe, man. Hey, those names are our key to salvation, man. You know, at the end of the day, let's say you understand everything about being an Israelite. You understand that you're supposed to wear your fringes when you go to camp. You're supposed to uh, uh, keep your beard on your face. You're not supposed to get lineups. Let's say um, you, know, you know you're not supposed to eat pork. Uh, you know, all of the day. Let's say you even know the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. All of that comes for nothing if you don't know the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All of that is for nothing, man. The, the Knowing the name of the Heavenly Father is, is key, man. If you don't know his name, then, hey, you, you, you're going to meet your end. Because when when Jacob trouble uh comes through and you know they're 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 going uh, Esau is getting carnal and going crazy who you gonna call on man it don't matter if you knew everything about being an Israelite part of being an Israelite is knowing the name of the Heavenly Father okay I was looking for a precept on it uh, but you know it's so it's so many scriptures that talk about uh, the name it was one in Hebrews that I was looking for specifically a new one that I ran upon uh, a couple days ago but I, I lost it but nonetheless man. You know, I got one for I got one for seven. Okay. Now uh, this is Proverbs chapter eighteen and verse ten. The name of the Lord Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth, runneth into it and is safe. Mm -hmm. You know the righteous, the elect. We're gonna um. It says those that trust in the Lord. Uh, we we are his um. It says the word of uh, of Yahweh is pure, and those that uh, and he's his shield to those that trust in him. That's right. All right, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, the scripture, you know, but hey, the Lord is it's a um, it's a tower, man. The Lord's name is is a tower, you know, and, and the righteous we are running into uh the the safety of of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I got something for you. This is uh, Psalm seventy five and one. It says, "Unto thee, O Yahweh, do we give th thanks? Unto thee do we give thanks for that thy name is near thy wondrous works declare." You know, so his name is what's going to bring the wondrous works, man. His name is how we are going to attain spiritual power. His name is how we're going to have a belief on the son of the most high. You know, all of the, those names are important, man. So, hey, at the end of the day, cats be out here wanting to get spiritual power, but you don't want to say the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. You want to say you believe in the most high, but you say most high in Christ bless. All right. You got to show that you know his name in order to attest for e everything that's going to come after that, man. Because when the Lord is getting ready to dissolve this place, you know, a brother was talking about, um, uh, he had a vision of uh, the chariots coming and they were melting people, you know? And I, I forgot who video I was listening to that said like, you know, we, we never thought about the chariots melting people. You know, we think they're going to like, you know, disintegrate them or evaporate. But he said his vision, people were like sitting in their cars and fucking melting, bro. <laughs> you know how sore of a death that is, bro? And matter of fact, let me get that in Ezekiel real quick, Baba Kusha. Um, what's that? Ezekiel is either 22 and 18. Uh, this is Ezekiel 22 and uh, which one do I want? Uh, let me 
I'm trying to see, Salaki, give me one. Oh, uh, Ezekiel 22 and verse uh, 21. It says, yea, I will gather you. I'm going to start at 20. It says, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to burrow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you and blow you upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai, he said he's going to melt these niggas, man. You know, and that, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are going to be the ones to do that. All right, not, not Jesus, not Yeshua, not Allah, not Buddha, not any of these false idol gods, man. It's going to be Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Those names bring power. Those names bring wondrous works. Those names bring salvation, man. All right? You got something, bro? Those names are important, man. And without them, we, we, we're lost. Honestly, without the names of the Lord, we're lost, man. We're just like any other uh, so-called religion. You know, with any other doctrine, if we don't know the name of the Lord, man. I'm looking for that fervent heat. Uh, Second Peter three and uh, it's like verse uh, ten. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Second Peter chapter three verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall shall melt with fervent heat. <laughs> the earth. Also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up, and that fervent heat, you know, that's that's boiling hot, man. You know, the the um the world is going to be up, it's going to be a complete stubble out here, man. Mm -hmm. And um, let me jump up to first Second Peter chapter two and verse uh five. It says, and, and spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. You know, the Lord, he's going to bring in fire upon the ungodly this time. And it says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned with, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto them that, unto those that after should live ungodly. You know, so if you're living ungodly, man, you, hey, just just be prepared for um for fervent heat, man. All right, be, be prepared for destruction you know, for disobeying your how about Shemiah That's right. And yeah. that fervent heat, man, that's, that, man, that's going to be something that you've never imagined before, man. You know, you can stand your ass in the oven. And matter of fact, let me just bring this out. <laughs> Malachi 4 and 1. Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, all that they do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh uh, shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, man. All right. So, hey, the Lord says the day that come that burn is an oven, man. You know, bro, like I, I, every time, you know, I fucking you be making some fucking wings or some shit and the shit in the oven. And you put the damn oven down and shit man, burn your I face, man. Yeah. You're like, fuck, why did I stick my face down there, bro? You know, and that's just a mere example. That's only like, what, fucking 425 degrees. Mm -hmm. You know, we he said fervent heat, man. Thermonuclear heat mixed with fucking fusion and fission and fucking uh, radiation, man. That you're not gonna the day gonna burn as an oven, man. All right. And the thing is, with that oven, what you do, you lift it up real quick or you back up, you can get away from the heat. Mm -hmm. But we talking about the heat of the Heavenly Father, ain't no running and escaping from that, bro. Right. And the <laughs> Lord's wrath, he's gonna be inside that heat. So you know it's gonna be it's gonna be terrible, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I could look up that I wish I had my blue and I would look up the word fervent, but I, I believe Come. it says boiling. It says uh boiling, boiling hot. Uh, let me actually I got my tablet back here. The water you help us from yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and read the next verse too. Um so I can't get this off here. There you can go ahead and type it in. Um but uh it says uh oh, it says said the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So it's not gonna be left in, nothing left with the, the fervent heat that's coming from the heavenly father. All right, and uh, verse two, and see this is how we know. Uh, that we're going back to the name again. It says, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healings in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. All right. So it says, but unto you that fear my name. All right. So we fear the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So the son of righteousness, Yahweh Shai, going to rise with healing in his wings because the, the, the Lord did uh, Yahweh Shai say, I came not to heal the righteous, but the sinners. All right. And bring them to repentance. All right, he said, uh, uh, he's 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 the physician, man. 
All right, he's bringing that healing, and these the scriptures are that healing, man, that comfort. Okay, and it says, "Ye shall grow up and grow up as calves of the stall, and ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet." And the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of Hosts, man. Hey, these these two thirds out here gonna be melted. The heathens gonna be out here melted. All right, the uh, the um, Esau gonna be melted. All right, they're gonna be melted under the soles of our feet, man. And you think that's uh? That's metaphorical? Hell no, nah, man. <laughs> a light come down, it's going to be fucking, everything's going to be just obliterated over here in, in, in America, man. All right? In different parts of the world, man. We're going to come down and the other nations are going to be in complete subjection under us, man. All of these things are, are coming through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Hashanah. And so this is how we know we got to come back to the Lord and, and serve him. Serve those names. Serve the true power of heaven. The Holy One of Israel. Those are important names, man. You know, did you get found what you're looking for? Yeah. Okay. I thought it said boiling, but it's still edifying. Uh, okay. Let me see. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Is the volume up? Strong G 2741, Calsao. Calsao. And it says to to burn up, set set fire to, to suffer with fervent burning, be parched with fever. You know what I'm saying? So the. Two thirds of our people, and of course, these heathen nations—they got a—they got a sword destruction coming to them. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and it says to be parched with fever. You know, when you got a fever, your temperature uh, is really hot. All right, you got a high. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You be hot as fuck, and then your mama touch your forehead <laughs> right, and right, shit. Right, right, right. You boiling, man. You hot as hell. So that's what's gonna happen. That fervent heat, man. You know, and and uh, you know, and w they talk about things having a boiling point. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you're about to surpass all of that through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. You know? We doing a lesson. Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. So, um, but yeah, you know, that, that that that's beautiful, man. That's what's going to happen to burn up. That's what's going to happen to these people. And it, it, matter of fact, you still got that verse? Because mm -hmm. uh, go on. It's a little bit more on that, actually. Verse, verse 11 says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, mm -hmm. what manner of persons ought ye to be in a in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, seeing the earth is uh, America is about to be dissolved, man. All right, when something is dissolved, there's nothing left of the substance that was in, man. You know, you take some some uh, I forgot which one is uh, dissolvable, but salt or sugar, and put it in water, and you stir that shit up. It, it'll be, you know what I'm saying? It's dissolved. It's a part of the mixture now, man. So the, this place is about to be utterly dissolved with thermonuclear destruction. You know? So w what matter of person are we to be? Hey, brother Shalom. Right. Hey, brother. Right. Call all y'all by Shimmy Al Shah. Yep. We're supposed to be on ho holy conversation, man. But these people are in wicked conversation. You know? Yeah, that's that's all I was trying to do. Yeah. Verse 12 it says, Looking for and hasting unto the coming day of the Lord. Uh, into the coming day of Yahweh Bashem Shah. So that's what it says, looking for and hasting. So we're looking for the, the day of Yahweh Bashem Shah. We're hasting for the day of Yahweh Bashem Shah. But you think these people are, are hasting for that? No, because it, Amos uh, says, uh, what, what, is it to, what is the day of the Lord to you? Right. <laughs> you know, they ain't wait, hasting for the day of the Lord. But go ahead. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. Hey, see, we talk. I, I did a lesson on the three heavens the other day. That's how you know the first heaven is talking about this one. Mm -hmm. You know, because it says they're going to be on fire, man. Because all of those missiles. You think uh, the second heaven, so-called outer space, is going to be on fire? No. All right. You think uh, uh, the uh, spiritual realm where Yahweh is is going to be on fire? No. It's talking about this heaven, man. All right. It's going to be on fire by the way of the thermonuclear missiles coming down to rain hell on America. All right. And uh, it says, uh, what? Read uh, right after. Uh, and the elements oh it says and the elements shall melt with fervent heat uh -huh. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat man you know uh they got the damn uh forgot what the periodic table was that shit called yeah. you know periodic table when they got radon and boron and carbon and all that shit on there Hey, those missiles are going to melt all of the elements in this place, man. Oxygen is all going to get burnt up down here. So how much more are you people of the elements are gone? We we are in our bodies are those elements in our bodies. We have oxygen and nitrogen and carbon. We have all of those things. So how do you think you're going to survive if the elements are going to be burnt away? You know, and the Lord, he's showing examples of that in, uh, in California. It was, a, it was another fire in California. It started Thursday. 
Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if, it, if it's still going on, but I remember yesterday it was said 19% of, of it is contained right now. Mm. You know, but the Lord, I, I did a video and I was, it was it was showing like a little little clips. Man, the place was it was like Malachi four on one, like stubble. God, man. that's you know? crazy. Yeah, they getting they getting handled over there, and then they they gas is like above five dollars and shit now. You know, shit. You know, they they said people like uh fight trying to fight against the electric company and shit out there. You know, that's like everybody down here. We got uh, FPL, Florida Power and Light. You know what I'm saying? These these, these companies, and they know very well. They, you don't think Esau is using that as a test, you know, for martial law and fire and all? They're using that shit, man. They're using that propaganda. And, uh, California, they are in a state of emergency because mm -hmm. of that, too. Uh, hey, man, you know, and th that could be very well the thing that, that pops shit off, man. You don't know. That's why we got to, you got to, that this brother just read, you got to be in holy conversation, man. Right. Because if you're not having the right conversation on your lips in these last days, if you're talking about Jesus and all of that, hey, man, it's over for you, man. It's over, man. This, this, this window of opportunity is closing, man. You better get in where you fit in, man. You better slide through that window while it's still open, man. Because hey, when it's closed, it's over, over, man. You know, um, but yeah, I think that was the point on that. Yeah. Con, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, unless you got anything final, we can wrap it up. We can wrap yeah, it up there. Con, you know, just a little short, uh, GMS snapshot. I think that might have to be our thing. You know, a little GMS snapshot, uh, just through the spirit and power of how about Shimei Shai, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Uh, uh, you know, we just doing the work, man. And we are staying grateful that the Lord is having mercy on us and that we don't be around when this fire and melting takes place. You know, we want to be in the ships, the chariots of the Heavenly Father. Right. All right. So uh, with that, we want to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Until next time, you call, you call, you call. Endure, 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 brothers. We almost the hell up out of here. Shalom. Shalom.